Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to do our first iOS app. Now, well, that means that we now are going to move away from just, just Swift, plain Swift, and we are going to move to actual coding. So, once you open up Xcode, you should get this screen. And do not double click the play, playground. You're going to create a new Xcode project. This will not create a playground. It's going to ask you what kind of application you're going to create. I know a lot of these are very tempting to make, but we're going to stick with the single view application. So let's press next. And for the product name, you're going to have to name it something you want. In this video, we're going to learn about the Hello World. So we're going to call it Hello World. You can call it whatever you want. And for now, I'm just going to create it on the desktop. So let's see. The first thing you want to do here, let's explore X, the actual Xcode editor for a second. Here, when you when you first load the app, it's going to take you to this page. It, it has all the information you need for stuff like what device you're making it for, the device orientation, the main interface, your Apple ID and team, your identity, and live frameworks and libraries, and also app icons. So this is a very kind of easy to use place and on the left right here you've got the f file place where all the files will be displayed right here so let's go to the file known as main.storyboard this is where you build the UI so you've got a view controller right here you can place stuff like more view controllers like that and, or and we don't need this view controller so I'm going to delete it and you can place stuff like labels, buttons, text fields, sliders, switches and stuff like that. If you've ever seen an iOS app I bet you have. So you should see this stuff a lot. It may be different on other apps because they have more design, but these are just the standard Apple stuff, the standard Apple, Apple stuff. On the right, you've got the utilities bar. Here is where all the stuff you need <clears throat> to make your app, such as the document info, identity inspector, attributes inspector, size inspector, and outlet inspector or connections inspector you've also got the help inspector and many other things the main dot storyboard is a very easy to use thing for example you could just drag a button on there and it will go on there but now if you want to run the app you've got to press this plus play button and you can choose your device and it's gonna have a bunch of sim simulators that you can run your app on normally i just do iphone 7 plus because pretty much all my apps are on iphone 7 plus and when you press the play button it's going to say build succeeded or build failed the reason why i might say build failed is because for example if you had an error in the code or an error in, in the UI. Notice that you can tap this button, but it will not do anything. And you also notice that it's not in the middle, like we said right, said it right here. So that's a few things to notice. And yes, there's another thing down here. This is where they print all the output for your app, like print statements, like if you type in like if you have a piece of code that says print, like you're going to print something, it's going to print it down here. And all the debugging code. 
let's say you, you get errors like Sigabar or EX Team Bad Destruction, it's going to print stuff down here. Notice that you can't actually, you can type in here, but you, can, you can't actually delete from the line. You can't actually delete once you press enter on the line. And when, when you type, there's not really anything to do with the cup typing, so let's just ignore that place. So let's go back here. And you've got this bar on the right side, which is known as the document outline. You would see everything, like the view, how everything's structured, like a view controller, top layout guide, bottom layout guide, button, first responder exit, and storyboard and entry point. This signifies that that's the main, that's the initial view controller. What the initial view controller is, is essentially the controller that, the view controller that you see, this interface right here, when the app first launches. You can hide the document outline if you want. Sometimes I find it quite annoying, so I just hide it. But it can be very useful if you're doing stuff that requires a lot of UI. Let's move on to the problem where, where it says we are not centered. It's not centered in the middle. Now, if we run this on the iPhone 7, it will be centered. The thing is, this thing will only be centered on one kind of device. The kind of device like an iPhone 7. When, yeah, iPhone 6s and iPhone 6 are the same size, but that's not really the point. So how, how do you fix this? Well, Apple has a great thing in Xcode. It's known as constraints. A set of rules that will tell the button, you have to be here when the view is like this or you have to be here when the view is like this. You can set constraints automatically, and this, sometimes this will not ver work very well, by clicking on that triangle at the left right corner, bottom right corner, and select reset to suggested constraints. That will put automatically put in constraints that match what the view has. Now if we run it, it should be centered. There we go. So that's centered in the view. Now, the next step is just display hello world. So let's delete that button. And we'll put in a label. Although labels might be boring, but they're always useful when displaying text. You can also change the text of a label through the code. Let's make this label bigger and you see here it's in the attributes inspector what you want to do is set the alignment of the text to center alignment then you probably want to get a bigger font until it starts getting dots right 36 is the best and yes you can set color and lines and stuff like that now, again, we're going to set the constraints. So let's run that. And Hello World should pop up on our screen. There we go. Now let's add a, a touch of better stuff to this. We're going to start using the code. So, you might be able to use some stuff that you learned from your earlier Swift videos. So it's called this show or hide text. So, the first step, add the necessary constraints for the button. And there's another thing that's very cool if you're working between two documents in Xcode called Assistant Editor. You can pr pr access
access this by pressing the double circles. And usually when you're an assistant editor, you want to hide both the source bar and the utilities bar. That way you can be more focused and you'll have more space. Now there's a thing for connecting the UI to the code known as an IB outlet, where IB stands for Interface Builder. Now if you just right click from the button to the code, you can insert an outlet. I'm going to call this label. And if you see here how this works, it declares an I at IV outlet first. That means it's linked to the interface builder. And then it declares a label and it's of course an optional because interface builder thinks you can't directly set the value. Now the text or the button works in the same way. And there's also a thing known as an IV action. So if we go down here, we set the connection to action. Then we can, every time this button is text pressed, then it will run this action. So let's get out of the assistant editor. And we'll bring back the source navigation and the and the utilities bar. So let's go to viewcontroller.swift. We see here that we have the exact same stuff. So here, high text. We're gonna use our knowledge of from our Swift, mainly involving if statements. And first of all, we're gonna declare a Boolean. Is hidden equals false. And what this is going to essentially do is if we're going to set an if statement, if is hidden equals false. Sorry, I had caps on that time. Then we're going to say is hidden equals true. <clears throat> Label dot is hidden equals true and button dot set title the title will be high show text for dot normal now how does this thing work so again you probably know that but this part is different is hidden is pretty much on all UI objects. It's a it's a little um, boolean that you can set, and it's very useful for hiding and showing things. And you can also set the text by saying label dot text equals some kind of string. Now the button, you can't directly set the button dot text, so you have to call a function called set title on buttons. Then if else and we don't have to specify else if because we know it booleans can only be false or true so else then is hidden equals false and label dot is hidden equals false button dot set title hide text for dot normal now let's try running this so let's go to the simulator and We see hello world. So we'll press hide. Show text. Hide text. Show text. Hide text. Show text. Hide text. So we can see that we can hide this and make it blink. So that's the first step in iOS coding. 
Again, we've already learned the basics of Swift, and we will learn more Swift on the, along the way in different libraries. So, in the next few videos, we'll be covering the basics of iOS programming. So, see you then!